Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba rahabati fillah from the fawaid of Imam bin Baz rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasia uh, regarding the concept of taqwa he explains after the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Ya ayu alidina amanu wa taqullaha wal tandhru nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al-Kareem O you who believe, fear Allah and look to what your hands ha have done okay, for the, for the future you know, you're going to need you're going to reflect on back on what you have done and what you will do in the future uh وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ And fear Allah, for verily Allah is all aware of what you do. Imam bin Baz, rahmatin wasi'ah, he mentions, he says, هَذِهِ الْآيَاتِ الْكَرِيمَةِ هَذِهِ الْآيَةِ الْكَرِيمَةِ كَآيَاتِ كَثِيرَاتِ غَيْرِهَا يَأْمَرُ اللَّهُ بِهَا عباده المؤمنين أن يتقوه وقد جاء هذا المعنى في عدة مواضع من كتاب الله عز وجل وذلك يدل على أن المؤمن, أن المؤمن يؤمر بالتقوى كما يؤمر بها غيره uh, The Imam he mentions he says this ayah this verse is like many of the verses in the Quran uh, 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 many other verses in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands his servants the believers to have taqwa and this meaning has come all throughout the book of Allah and this verse or and this is evidence that the believer has been commanded with taqwa similar to the way that others have been commanded with, uh, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded uh, all of mankind, which is illustrated in another verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we can add in Kareem, Ya nasa rabbukum alladhi khalakukum min nafsin wahida. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Kitab al Kareem, O you mankind. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all of mankind. Uh, fear your Lord who has created you from a single soul. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, not only in the first ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the mu'mineen. He says, Ya yuladina amanu. He addresses those who believe. And in this second verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has addressed. The, uh, all of mankind to fear him tabarak wa ta'ala ya ayyuhan nas taqu rabbukum oh you mankind fear your lord and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem ya ayyuhan nas taqu rabbukum inna zalzalat al sa'a shay'un azim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says oh you mankind so again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all of mankind fear your lord for verily the the uh, the severity of the hour is near you know yom al is approaching and just as we recently heard about the earthquakes in california and otherwise and that are continually going on the 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 sa'a is near so we need to prepare ourselves and one of the best provisions is taqullah azza wa jalla Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, Ya ayyuhan nasu abu rabbukum alladhi khalaqukum walladhina min qablakum la'allakum tatakun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Tabarak wa ta'ala, He says, Ya ayyuhan nasu abu rabbukum, O you mankind, worship your Lord who created you, walladhina min qablakum, and those who came before you, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you will gain taqwa, in order that you will have God-fearfulness. Bin Baz, Imam Bin Baz, he says, فِالْعِبَادَ وَتَقْوَى مَعْمُورٌ بِهَا جَمِيعًا جَمِيعًا ثَقَلَيْنَ الْجِنْ وَالْإِنْسِ وَكِلَاهُمَا مَعْمُورٌ بِتَقُوَى اللَّهِ وَعِبَادَتِهِ وَلِهَذَا خُلِقُوا 
So he says, He says, Ibadah, worship, and taqwa, God fearfulness, uh, all of mankind and the jinn have been commanded with. And that this taqwa, you know, having God fearfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshiping Him alone, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for this. Uh, for this, uh, this is the this is the divine purpose of why we were created. This is the reason, and this is the most important aspect of the uh, uh, of of why we were created. The most important reason. This is it. And then he mentions as a dalala. He makes uh, you know as evidence. He mentions the ayah where Allah Taala says, says Kitab al Karim, "Wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wa al insa li abdun." I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Uh, and to be concise, Bin, bin, uh, bin Baz, alayhi, he then mentions about taqwa. What does taqwa mean? He says, well, taqwa Allah, hiya tawheeduhu, wal ikhlas luhu, wa maraqibatuhu, bi ta'zeem wa awamarihi, wa tarq nawahi, wal waquf indal hududihi, fi jamiya zaman, wal makan, wa hiya aydan, العبادة التي أمرنا بها في قوله يا أيها الناس ابعدوا ربكم فإن العبادة فإن العباد فإن العبادة الله هي توحيده والإخلاص له وخضوع له وظل لعظمته في جميع الشؤون وفي جميع الأحوال ولا يكون هذا إلا بفعل الأوامر وترك النواهي أما الذي لم يمتثل أمر الله ونهيه فإنه لم يعبده ولم يتقه uh, Imam bin Baz, he then mentions about taqwas, because we need to know what, what does taqwa mean, since we're being ordered, Ya yu an-nas rabbukum alladhi khalaqakum, O mankind, fear your Lord who has created you. All of these uh, these ayat that he mentioned, they command us a taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, and to worship him and him alone. So that so we need to know what it means. So he says that taqwa Allah, that fearing Allah, that it is uh, the tawheed of Allah. You know, so this is... a the categories of Tawheed, you know, the Islamic monotheism, that we uh, believe in the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Tawheed al rubuiyah and the uh, Tawheed al-Ibadah, you know, that uh, Tawheed al-Ibadah or Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, that uh, all the worship uh, is directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat, the Tawheed of the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the scholars, they also mention that uh, Tawheed al-Rububiyyah yastalzimu Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah which means that the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it necessitates that we then worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and I'm going to have to divert before we get into what Ben Baz was saying we need to understand that concept what does it mean Tawheed al-Rububiyyah yastalzimu Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah what does that mean? it means that when you acknowledge, for example, we see Jamaat Tablik and we see many other groups, and we see the Christians and the Jews and even uh, other group, uh, other uh, faiths, that they may say that Allah created everything. They believe He's Al Khaliq. They believe God is the creator of the heavens and earth, and that He is a sustainer. He provides for. It. He gives us rizq, tabarak wa taala, and He Subhanahu wa taala, uh, He is the you know the creator and the sustainer. And he, Tabarak wa Ta'ala, uh, you know, uh, all, all of his, uh, all of his, he, he is a Rabbil Alameen, he's the Lord of all of mankind. They, many of them, the faith-based communities, they accept that. Jamaat al they call to that. However, when we say, Tawheed al-Rubiyya yastalzimu Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, that means that that necessitates from the intellect and from uh, from making the next logical step is that you direct all your worship to the one who created you, all of your worship to the one who sustains you, all of your worship to the one who is the Lord of the Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of the Rabbil Alameen. So this is how Tawheed al 
necessitates Tawheed al-Uluhiyah. It necessitates that you take the next step and then you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Tabarak wa ta'ala. So Bin Baz, he mentions, he says about taqwa, he said that it's his Tawheed. And it's a class and sincerity to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you and that you acknowledge and that he tabarak wa ta'ala sees you and that you make ta'zim of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You exalt your Lord, the, exa the exalted, azza wa jal, by observing his commandments and leaving off his prohibitions and stopping at the hudud of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the boundaries that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his limits that he set for you during all times and in every place and also, he mentions, he said, وَهِيَ أَيْذًا As far as taqwa, he says, الْعِبَادَ الَّتِي أَمْرَنَا بِهَا He is also, uh, taqwa is also the ibadah, the worship that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has commanded us with. And this is illustrated in the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسَ عَبُدُ رَبُّكُمْ O you mankind, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing mankind, uh, worship your Lord. And again, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in the shara, He commands us in the book of Allah or in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the asal of that command, al-amr yafid al wujub is that a commandment shows that that thing is an obligation. If Allah commands you, if He says, waqimu salah, Allah tabarak ta'ala says that in the Quran, Quran, waqimu salah, establish the prayer. That means what? Salat is mustahab? No. It means salat is wajib. It's an obligation upon you to fulfill. Limadha. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded it and that it's an act of ibadah. It's also evidence to show that it's ibadah. So when Allah commands us with something, it's an obligation for us to fill and it means it's something that pleases Him and it's an act of worship. Unless there's other evidence from the shara to show that it goes from uh, being an obligation to something which is mustahab or mubah or what, what have you. Then uh, the Imam, he mentions after that ayah, he says, فَإِنَّ الْعِبَادَةِ إِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ يَتَوْحِيدُهُ So verily, uh, uh, ibadah, the ibadah, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is his tawheed. Why? Because we said tawheed al-uluhiyyat, or, or also known as tawheed al-ibadah, that all the worship goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa ikhlas lahu, and sincerity to him, tabarak wa ta'ala, that you don't have any shirk in your ibadah. Wa khudu lahu, and that you are, uh, you know, you're humbled before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. You humble yourself. And, uh, and, and, and that you are, you have humility before His greatness, tabarak wa ta'ala, in all your affairs and in all conditions. And this only comes about through fulfilling his commandments and leaving off his prohibitions and adhering to the command of Allah and avoiding his prohibitions and the one who does not do that then they do not worship him and they do not fear him and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct so lies, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect and any mistakes was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.